Hey guys, it's Joel from the Hallowed Ground at Cody UK and it's a bit of a different setup for this video because I'm going to show you guys what's in my wardrobe. I've been trying to find other videos like this on YouTube but couldn't see any so I don't know, it's like what's in my bag but what's in my wardrobe so I'm just going to show you what's in my wardrobe. Someone sent me the idea for this on Twitter and I really liked it so I thought hey why not give it a go. So I'm just going to be showing you what kind of brands are in there, what kind of styles of clothing and obviously everything's black or grey. Yeah, um, I hope you enjoy this video and I'm gonna list and link all the brands and stuff that I can, maybe not every single specific item because there might be quite a few to do on my blog. So if you click through in the description below to the hologram.co.uk, then you can see everything there and just ask me. If you have a question, just ask me because I always try to answer everyone's questions all the time. So, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy looking through my wardrobe. First of all, I have coats. I have this long wool coat from ASOS um, that I got for Christmas, which is really nice. It's just black classic. Yeah, that's a good one. It's so awkward. This grey coat from River Island. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I am obsessed without talking about this coat. The cut is so nice on the front, and it just has one single button. It's wool and it's really comfy. It has a bit of a pleather collar uh, on the back as well. Yeah, it's really nice. The Oblivion bomber jacket from Represent Clothing. I've posted this on my blog before as well. It has a two-way zip, it's extra long length. It has ruched sleeves and a zip pocket on the arm. Next is this Represent Clothing Rubberized Matte Jacket. I mentioned this in my November favourites. And all these pieces, when I shop, I try and get things that aren't, you know, going to go out of season or out of style because they're just staple pieces that you can wear all year round, all the time. You know, every winter, you can always put the same coat back on because there's no point, it's nice to buy a new coat every winter, but some people just can't afford that. So, um, next is this Represent Clothing Shadow Zip hoodie, an extra long length again. Next is this ASOS, this is ASOS Women's. I get a lot of questions on Instagram about this, this coat. It's, an, it's a long line women's blazer in like crepe material. Um, it's really lightweight, it was quite cheap, it was in the sale I think. And yeah, it's, it's, it's so good for layering and it's a really nice piece to wear. This is something you can wear in winter and in summer. So this was a really good purchase. I'm really happy with this one. If, if, you are, if you're a guy looking for some clothes and they don't have it in the men's section, but it's in the women's and you really like it and you think it will fit, you should just buy it or at least try it on. Because the only thing that's stopping most guys from shopping the women's section is the fact that the product is in the women's section. If they just drag that blazer and put it in the men's section on ASOS, like so many more guys would have bought it. This next jacket, I don't know if you can tell properly from this, I have to hook it up on the hanger. Um, it's from a brand called Musée Noir. They have a shop in Camden and the shop is amazing. I posted pictures on Instagram before as well. Um, and the clothes are so nice, such good quality. Um, this is a jacket by them. <laughs> it has this kind of funnel neck asymmetric cut with this really like heavy duty buckle. I really like this one. I posted this on my blog as well, so I'll put, I'll probably just put links to the blog posts that I've worn them in so you can see like what I've styled it with and stuff. But I, I really like this brand, it's really good. This jacket I bought last summer. Um, it's a brand called Coke On Design or KTZ. This is from their Spring Summer 15 collection, but I just thought, again, it was like a timeless classic piece because it's black and silver, which are my favourite colours. And um, I just wear it all the time. It's got embellishments all over it and a pointed hood like a wizard. This is from a brand called Bleach Project. And it's kind of like what I'm wearing now. I'm wearing a long sleeve turtleneck by a brand called ADYM but this one is similar and it's but it's really long like I don't know if you can see my one's quite long but this one's like super long kind of like a dress I like a good turtleneck and a long length is just 
what makes it. These tops, both similar from collection, again by ADYM, which I'll wear like over this turtleneck top. And really futuristic cut, um, really nice material, really good quality, again, uh, yeah, ADYM. Next is this kind of ribbed sweater from River Island. I really like this. This has zips on the side as well, which is quite surprising, and it's long length. I think everything in my wardrobe is long length, just because I don't like stuff that sits here. It makes me feel really gross. I don't know if you can tell, maybe I'll hold it up here. There you go. If you can see the texture on that, it's, it's really nice. This is a neoprene scuba type sweater from a Korean shop called Fabric Square. I really love this shade of orange. It's kind of like burn, sunburn orange or whatever you want to call it. I don't know why I like orange. I like black, grey, white, and now apparently orange. It's kind of like Halloween black and orange, isn't it? It's a really good combination. I like it a lot. This is a Kenzo jumper from the Kenzo shop near Bond Street. This black and white colorway came out. I saw it online and I was like, I have to get this. This is like the one Kenzo sweater that I actually would wear all the time. This cheap Monday shirt, kind of denim with a granddad collar. This was from a shop called White Dirt, which I believe is in Essex. I hope it's in Essex, otherwise I just got that one. Actually, I like to wear it just with a few buttons done over a t-shirt. Uh, this is a layered shirt from a brand called MLTV Clothing. It's got kind of sheer panels that do up over the shirt as well, or you can hang them down, so it's kind of like floaty. This biker jacket is from Top Man. I did a giveaway with one of these for Christmas, and it's the perfect biker jacket. I have tried lots of biker jackets from like vintage shops and stuff, and they're always massive power shoulders making me look like Boy George or some other gross side effects to the jacket but this one is really great. This is a sweater from a company I'm a big fan of called Black Blessed which is based in Rome, Italy but they stock in Topshop Oxford Circus as well actually you can get stuff online. I really like the brand as a whole um, it's all kind of witchy and coven like which I really enjoy that theme and obviously this is a coven sweater blacklist coven yeah this bomber jacket is from a brand called JC Munch and it's really really nice jacket it's kind of like a grey wood print really nice throughout the year to wear bomber jacket's probably going to be wearing more soon when it gets a bit warmer because it's so cold right now I'm just wearing all my winter coats and parkas and stuff like that. Um, jumpers hiding up here. This jumper is from ASOS that I got the other day. It's kind of distressed with holes in it. You see that kind of holy material, kind of like spider webs. Awesome. And I have two bags up here. Um, this is my Represent Wraith backpack. I use this all the time, without a doubt now. It's like the backpack. It's just so plain and so simple. And everyone's always like, oh my God, where did you get that? I'm like, represent. And this is from ASOS that I got the other day. This is really cute. It's kind of like a tote, but then it's a backpack as well. But it's so boxy and convenient. My voice is really boring actually, I keep hearing myself speak. I have two, two hats. One hat that I've had for about three years. I think it's three years now, or maybe two years. It's from ASOS. It's a, it's a faux leather cap. It was like 12 pounds and I've, I've, I don't know how many times I've worn this. I've worn this a lot. There was a brief period a few years ago. Uh, and I wore this every single day. People didn't know what I looked like without a cap on, so it is definitely worth the money. And then this wide brim fedora I got off ASOS a couple of weeks ago, because my friend Olivia had one, and I used to borrow hers because I loved it so much. So when this went on sale on ASOS, I just got it 
because I really like it. I don't know how this looks. It looks like some sun hat right now. Um, maybe I'm going to get into detail about all these ones. This is like basic tops, like plain tops from ASOS. Um, Represent. Now I've got some jeans from Represent, um, ADYN, and Top Man. Some more trousers down here. So um, these are my favourite thing right now actually. These are from Fabric Square again. These are like massive culottes. But they're like really wide leg trousers. And I wore them in a blog post recently with this sweater. So you can see those if you try. Yeah, I like these a lot. I have to think of more ways to wear them because they're, they're so cool. Um, and it's really, it's really weird to wear trousers that aren't so binding to your legs because all I wear is skinny jeans. So. And then there's some more trousers um, from Top Man, Musée Noir, and that's it. So compared to most people, I feel like I don't have that many clothes. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. And actually, you can't see right now because I moved it all over there. But I have some stuff that I don't really wear anymore and I'm going to make a Depop account and sell it on Depop. There's no point in clinging onto the past, you have to move on. Change is good. 2015. Wow, that doesn't really embarrass me. So, so yeah, deep up. Uh, let me know if I should put anything on there as well um, that you've seen in this video. But a lot of the stuff that I've just shown you, I really do like and wear all the time. So probably not. But I'm going to be putting old stuff on there um, that I don't wear anymore, so that it can go to a nice new home and someone that really, really will appreciate it. Yeah, um, uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what ideas you want me to do for my next video, and hopefully, I'll be able to do it. Okay, have a good week. Bye, guys.